I think with Will I Weep for me, it ended, I'd done an earlier version of that, and uh, it ended up being, I, I, I remember saying to them, I wanted it to sound a bit more Stones or Faces, or like a British band trying to do American stuff, you know, which is the case, I guess, with me a lot of the time. Uh, and that's what the Stones were doing with the last time, and kind of those songs, and the Faces too, you know, so that song definitely ended up like that. And then there was that gap in the middle where I recorded this, this vocal part and it just it stood out as being something really empty for me and I kept saying to to Adam and them that it needs something you know either a Hammond organ or something and then I had this idea for a vocal round which was like we ended up kind of and they did that all live which is a really tricky thing to do you know so when you're hearing that that part it's kind of like really uh, you know it's all done live with with the George X it's, it's, it's one of my favorite parts of the record actually. Personally. All I know is being with you makes me feel complete. All my dreams are uh, The Jordan Airs was definitely a, definitely a spontaneous thing. So I remember it, they were, and I remember exactly how it happened because I recorded A Satisfied Mind and I recorded I think Satisfied Mind and Guilty were the tracks on the EP that sounded most empty to me and with space. And, and there's the, the uh, kind of Chris on the steel is doing like a vibes thing, although he does it on the steel. Sounds like vibes and just sounded, and I remember with, with a Satisfied Mind particularly, it's a gospel song and I, I said that, uh, you know, it'd be good to go, in, I remember saying to Chris and to Adam, it'd be good to go into a into a church in Nashville or something and just pull some people out and ask them if they want to do it. And uh, Chris was like, well, you know, the Jordan Airs are in town. And I was literally fell over laughing. I told this story a few times, but it's, it's dead true. Literally, I remember a few of us bursting out laughing at kind of like absurdity of it. It could never happen, you know. Uh, and it did. Just uh, made a few calls and they turned up the next day and they, they, they recorded, you know, so it was, it was pretty, pretty mad thing to happen, I guess. With a satisfied mind. And uh, I think they almost found it really strange that, that someone from my background, you know, being from England and and my age, I guess, like would be into them, what they did, and knew so much about them, and knew the records they'd been on, and producers they'd worked with, and you know, not just the whole kind of massive famous thing that they're associated with after the time. They had a history before that, you know, they've been going since like the late late forties and released records themselves. You know, uh, they would, they they found it so strange that I knew all about that. You know, it's kind of and was asking them this question, that question. They found it even more strange when I went in and sang. You know, they went in the studio to, to sing on the records and heard my voice and, uh, and were really taken back by it. And then I guess when I asked them back to do the, to do the, my own songs, they were, they were similarly surprised that I'd written them. So uh, I, I think one of them, he's a real joker, Ray Walker, he said something like, uh, you know, if anyone really wants to find out about Nashville music or country music, they should go to England. It's like I'm just on another page now, I think, with with this new record, and I don't necessarily think it's better than what I did before maybe, I don't know, or I don't necessarily think the last one was better than the one before that, I just think it's kind of a, a, a step forward and, you know, I, I uh, you know, it's like the train bound for glory thing, it's, to me it, it means something, you know, it's not, it has to all mean something to, to me for it to be that way, to have conviction, it's kind of, I don't, uh, I don't see it as 
we're bound for glory or this is bound for glory or anything else. It just kind of, you know, it's, it's almost like this snow place that people talk about, you know, and, and uh, I don't think it's, it's some place that you can actually get to physically. I just, I just, uh, I just hope to, to create a picture of myself that I, I kind of always had in my head, you know, and, and uh, use my creative spirit as much as I can, you know, and as, as good as I can. And then maybe take myself all the way to Carnegie Hall.